Thanks to Lu Bu's awesome prowess on the battlefield, Dong Zhuo's forces succeed in crushing the rebellion. Dong Zhuo grows more arrogant and tyrannical every day, and eventually begins to unappreciate Lu Bu as well. One day, Lu Bu is tempted by the beautiful Diao Chan to turn on his master. Finally, Lu Bu decides to rise up in rebellion against Dong Zhuo. From this day forward, Lu Bu takes orders from no one. He shall fight only for himself and what he believes in. Yeah, so, here you the spiel. Lu Bu's revolt. And, uh, this time around, I don't even think I even played the stage as Lu Bu, but I will at one point or another. Uh, because I think the last time I played as Diao Chen. Uh, but this time around, I'm gonna go and play as my creator character, Li Wei. So, let's do it. Alright, the equipment, the weapon. We have a great sword at level 1. Yeah, but uh, we should be able to get it to level 4, hopefully. We'll see. The items. Shadow Harness. Uh, Vopal Orb, and uh, Tiger Amulet. Bodyguards are at 8. The objectives, we have to defeat Dong Zhuo, and we can't allow either myself or Lu Bu to fall or the time running out. The unit info, for Lu Bu's forces, you have Lu Bu, Diao Chen, and Li Wei, which is me, Dong Zhuo, Fan Cho, Hua Xiang, Li Jui, Xu Frong, Hu Zhen, Nao Fu, Rosa, Wang Fang, Li Ru, and Li Meng, Dong Min. Alright, let's do it. And same concept. Not a lot of KOs. Uh, points are irrelevant, and we gotta be fucking fast. And I gotta remember, just go for every officer, don't worry about the fucking troops. Oh shit, I gotta be careful. I totally forgot, the difficulty is actually twice as hard when it comes to the actual uh, damage and all that shit. So I gotta be careful. Plus my defense is actually not that great. At the moment. Uh, yeah, so let's go this way. Uh, if I can, no. Wait, do I actually have to wait? And oh shit. There we go. Alright. I'll head this way. Defeat Lee Jui. And there goes Lee Jui. <laughs> and I'm not worried about it to an extent. Like I said, if they want KOs from me, I'm not going to require that this time because, uh, points are, well, KOs are irrelevant and points are, well, KOs, I gotta get less of them and points are kind of irrelevant. Alright, that's another one down. I want to at least get my character's weapon to level 2 at least. And try not to die in the process. Alright, who's Jen next? I'll still take out rat packs. Just because I'm not going for KOs doesn't mean I'm gonna go after, well, avoid rat packs. Fuck that. I'm expecting the ambush somewhere. Or I have to go the other way. 
like I said, it's been a long fucking time since I've actually played a stage. Alright, so we'll just go and defeat Wolsa. Both those down. And now we'll move on. Uh, Wong Fong is next. That is if I can actually go through here. Yeah, I can. Okay, great. And there goes Wong Fong. Enemy officer defeated. All right, reinforcements arrived. I can go back there, and I'll defeat what's his face, Xiao Sen. You fight well. And I'll probably mention it again, but I'll say it now. Um, I already unlocked in them before, but um. <laughs> the fact of the matter is, uh, in order to get any number four with the ob objective, you have to defeat every single troop, every single officer, every single ambush, and when you defeat Dong Zhuo, he has to be the last one standing, so to speak. With the addition of getting more than 200 KOs, more than 4,000 points, and then completing a certain amount of stages, which in this case would be six or more. Um, So you have to, uh, excuse me. So you have to do that, and uh, for some reason, I did get that uh, little special objective. However, I didn't get an average KO count of over 200. Don't know how that worked, but I'm just gonna roll with it. Uh, I probably won't be getting that ending again, just for the fact that I already have it. But I will bring it up again. After I get the other three end well, plus this ending, but the other two endings. Alright, Thung Min is down. Enemy officer defeated. Now, the question is, where is the Dim Sum and Musa wine? If I'm not mistaken, I think this is where one of them is. Yep, the Dim Sum's over there. So, the Musa wine should be on the opposite side. No, it should be on the opposite side. Or it should be in that little corner over there, like in the Battle One Castle. Oh, I'm almost done with this stage anyway. Shit. Lee Ru's down. Should take out that elite guard just to play it safe. Oh, there's just a ton of health here. So much for that idea. Um, which section has been cleared? Okay, so you have to go all the way around again and do that. Okay. Yeah, I don't think the Musu wine's over here, so I have to go all the way around and do that. Then, uh, all I have to really defeat is Naofu, defeat Hua Xiang, and then Dong Zhuo. And as I said before, uh, if you're trying to get that special ending, ending number four, uh, well, the special objective you have to pull off anyway. Is uh oh now I have to defeat all these troops. Or the one that opens the gate.
There you go. Yeah, try to go for as minimal as possible. Oh fuck. Something tells me I might be hitting that KO count very soon. Alright, hopefully there's no other ambush here, but no on my luck there probably will be. So far no. Great. Crap. Well, I could go for uh Nalfu. There you go. That's a lot of fucking rat packs. Holy shit. Anyway, let's go for Wash Strong. Now Dong Zhuo. Yeah, unlike the Battle Hulao Gate, Dong Zhuo will actually fight, obviously. Um, I mean, unless you actually uh, don't open Lo Yang in a set period of time, then he will automatically fight. And Dong Zhuo is down. There we go. My paradise. My ambition. And that's a win. Alright. So that's another one down. And uh, two more acts to go. So we completed this stage in 9 minutes and 34 seconds. Fucking awesome. I'm really more concerned about the points. Because I actually have defeated a lot of troops. Not troops, well not, uh, uh, worthy opponents. But, uh, let's see. So our KO count is 126, so we are under the 200 KO mark. Our clear time is 9 minutes and 34 seconds. 33 technically, whichever one works for you. And we are indeed under 4,000. I still have to continue that trend if I want to make it complete when it comes to that. But like I said, I don't think the points are a main factor. Just as long as your KO count and time are in the low section, then I should be good. Should, not will. Anyway, uh, that will be enough to get the rank 14. But like I said, once I actually get to uh, level 9... For my great axe or great sword, I will be using a different character because uh, I'll be going for that final edit weapon. But anyway, so we have a total amount of 3,062 points, and that'll be enough to get the level 3. Uh, bodyguards, yeah, you know, right? I can get through shits. We'll save and. There you have it. You've been watching Gaming Adventures, and I'll see you in the next part where we will take on the next act. And this is the act I'm really concerned about. But uh, we'll see what happen here. If uh, if I have to play both stages or not. I know when I get to the final act, the campaign against Liu Bei and the campaign against Sun Jian, I have to complete both. But do I have to uh, play both the Battle Xiaopi and the Battle of uh, the campaign against Cao Cao? If no, then I know exactly what I'm going to be doing to get any number one. If not, then I'm going to have to try something here. But like I said, we will figure that out when we get there. So that being said, peace out.